Yo, it's a stupidly small podcast, summer edition, summer cast. I'm Stu Farrell. Hello, Lauren Clark. Hello, Stu Farrell. You know what I didn't do? Tell people what day it was. Wednesday, oh. 7th of January, 2015. But I was just thinking to myself, mm. it feels like October to me. Why is that? It just feels like I should be saying October. That makes no You're sense. Very but strange I can't man. get my head around January. What's going on? Uh, I have a question for you, Stuart Farrell. You. Yeah. And uh, it's it's something that I've been wondering over the extendo summer period that we've been having. The never ending summer. It's beautiful. And that is, if somebody changes their position on something, does that make them a better person? Depends what you value, I suppose. If you value um, like a solid mind and a determined will and a sense of purpose, yeah, then uh, maybe not. But I think being able to change your mind indicates a an elastic mind and an elastic way of thinking. Yeah, and perhaps uh, your a fair-mindedness? Fair-mindedness and um, not pig-headedness. And I think one of the worst traits anyone can have, and it used to be sort of valued in some circles, yeah. is pig-headedness. I think it's still valued. I think too in this world of like, you know, everyone on the left is on the left and everyone on the right is on the right and never the twain shall meet. And everyone, you know, a bogan is a not a hipster and they're, a hipster is not a bogan. Like the, everyone's divided into these categories and there's this outrage culture online where everybody gets furious about something and t- picks a side and it's very hard to admit in that context, oh, I have changed my mind on something. By the way, change my mind. Every time I say that, I think it's. Have you seen that um, brilliant list of all the the phrases that Shakespeare invented? Uh, was that one of them? Mm, change my mind. He said, "I'll make make mine a double." Was another one? Did he? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think and of a quote. Just <laughs> making them up. A foregone conclusion is one. Mm-hmm. Uh, vanish into thin air is one. But change my mind. I love that. I love the idea that before he said that, nobody said change my mind because it's really a it's metaphor. It's really simple though, isn't it? But it's it? a beautiful, it's simple and it's the simple ones that often are the best. Oh, did he say that one? No, that one I don't think he did. Simple things in life are often the best? <laughs> anyway, look, uh, it occurs to me that I think particularly in this. It might be Shakespeare actually. What? Simple things in life are often the best. It's a McCain's ad. <laughs> <laughs> I think they Originally, took Originally, you reckon? Yeah. Maybe. Um, Is it McCain's? No, I don't know. It's something. Simple things in life oh, are often the best. best. It's some it's going to eat us for the next bloody 90s month. TV ad. Someone anyway, will know. You know where to hit us up, stupidlybig.com. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. But my point was mm. that changing, I believe, because... And I suspect that I'm with you in this. Mm. I I believe that it, being able to change your mind um, is a virtuous thing in this day and age. And that's why as However, politicians won't do it. Here's a test for you. Oh oh. Over the summer, extended summer, uh, Christmas, New Year's, whatever period, Never I had I was the subject of a campaign. By members of my extendo family mm-hmm. and friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in fact, it extended online to people on Twitter were trying to convince me as well. And that campaign was, you should like, nay love, nay respect and worship Taylor Swift. Oh, well, I'd have to totally disagree. Why would anyone have See? to? See? No, not have to, but we're going to – here is a campaign. We're going to give you all of this information. We're going to furnish you with facts. We're going to make you watch yeah. YouTube videos of her accepting speeches and being interviewed on the Graham Norton show. And I'm a bit of a sucker for the Graham Norton show. I can't so stand I, it. Really? Mm. Love the Graham Norton show. Like nothing makes me snorty laugh more than when that show nails it. Wow, well, okay. Just think it's so funny. Uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the English um, talk show, like Parky and – Graham, oh, no, and, no, no, no. But this, but, but you know, the three chairs and the host and the. <laughs> but I don't like it. Like how daggy! Like the, the other day, in fact, it was when I was watching one of the Taylor Swift interviews. Mm. He was talking about something on a computer, and he just turns his back to the camera, and he's like looking at a computer screen in a studio, and we're watching it on TV, and I just. Like, wow, so he just bra- breaks all the rules. No, but it's it's, it's like it, that shouldn't work, but you just. Pissing yourself off. Didn't laughing. sound like it did. 
It was very funny. I'm going to show it to you. Well, look, changing, fact, changing your I'm mind. make a note of that. As Tell Shakespeare it. said, to change one's mind is good. And it's interesting you <laughs> he bring... He didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you bring it up because I was thinking just the other day yeah. uh, that 2015 is going to be the year of uh, expanding my mind. Oh, great. I'm actually going to... <gasps> if there's one part of my body I'm going to work on, it's the brain. Really? Yeah. Okay. So how? I'm going to fix it. How? What are we doing? <laughs> well, reading... I love how I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Reading widely... Good. Um, what seeing, are you starting seeing with? Seeing a lot more film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got choice of two books I'm going to read. Okay. But I'm also going to do crosswords. War and Peace, just let it settle for a bit before you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Crosswords. Crosswords. Are you good at crosswords? No, terrible. I hate them. I hate the cryptic ones. Well, I'm going to learn cryptic crosswords. Oh, my God. Are you really? Yeah. And just get the, get it far, like get the neurons firing again mm. because it's it's dormant. Upstairs it's is not a, dormant. It, seriously, if you it, it's like a it's like Bates Hotel at the moment. No, I with didn't. Nana in the corner, <laughs> dead, rocking in a way in a chair. I'm I disagree Norman Bates. with you. No, yeah, this is incorrect because this is the Trust thing me. that I people... can actually feel my head at the moment. You can feel your head. Okay, well that's probably something neurological going on. But listen, when I've read, I've Ooh. got to tell you this: when I've been trying to read and learn stuff recently, it hurts. So I know I'm firing up the Maybe the you need dormant. Glasses. I've got glasses. <laughs> I'm, I'm firing up. No, or if I'm trying to think of something or concentrate, it hurts on certain spots of my brain. Okay. This is the bit where we spoke about you giving up alcohol. Yes. Mm. I think that might help. Today's with Wednesday. A, with a hurty brain. Three days in. In the spots on the brain well. and stuff. No, no. I did some research on that, PS. Oh, yeah. And apparently uh, alcohol dementia isn't necessarily true. <sighs> so what? You're not so, quitting? I was on the CB website. So as of yesterday. <laughs> No, Monday. I am quitting. Right, I'm good. off. Yeah, I'm excellent. done. Good. No, not forever. Yeah. Until I buy a beach house. Huh? And then you quit. No, no. I, I'm, <laughs> I reckon I'll, when I crack the bottle on the day we take the keys to the beach house. Is that right? So you're going to buy a beach house? Yep. In a few years. That'll be your first house you've ever bought. I have nothing. I don't have any money. Mm-hmm. No, but this is a start of a start of a different curve. So when you're what? It doesn't matter how old you are. Like, what if you're 85 before you get your beach house? <laughs> I wouldn't mind being about four or five years. Okay. So I've got to get a job. But um, that could be part two of the plan. Yeah. That, well, more jobs. Yeah. Uh, anyway, how do we get on to this? I don't My know, point was yes. you know, changing, changing mind, right? Yes. And Todd Sampson, right? Right. Formerly <laughs> uh, didn't like that guy, right? Yeah. And now I like him. Really? This yeah. is the guy who's on the ad show on the Mr. ABC. T-shirts, right? Hey, I've got a new goofy oh, yeah, T-shirt. Yeah. But T- T-shirts and I, and, and yeah. I, I made assumptions about him. Didn't know him at all. Yep. Well, this is, this is what brain. I did about. This is what I did about. Um, Shakespeare. No, <laughs> Taylor Swift. I oh, made hang all on. sorts of assumptions about Taylor Swift. Um, can, if you're going to tell me you like Taylor Swift, this could be uh, in answer to that. Yeah, uh, no, but you know what? You're doing it. You're being obstinate. You're not thinking, you're not furnished with fact. What facts have you got about Taylor Swift? My ears. Yeah, see, that's where, that's what, that's where the argument does fall down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you and I don't like that kind of music. We're never going to like that kind of music. Well, so I don't want to involve so, myself in the marketing and promotion and uh, the agree. ball that is Taylor Swift. I agree. That's fair enough, though. It's, it's, totally, it's, movie, it's totally. music for teenage girls and imbeciles. No, it's not. It's music for people who like that kind of music. But For if, teenage girl music and no, imbeciles. No, but the people who... Oh, big hello to the <laughs> fans of Taylor Swift, and might I say there are many, many, many of them. There are, but it's the stu- it's the other stuff. It's who she is and how she works and what how it, she kind of subverts the you know what you're Imbecils. talking about. No, the commercialism and oh, all sorry, that stuff. Yeah. However, I still don't like her music. But um, what were we talking about? Changing your mind. Changing your mind. What you, oh, oh, your on, brain I'm on exercises? To- yeah, I'm on it? Todd Samson now. So write this minute um, into Todd Sampson in a big way because he's a brain t- trainer bender guy. What do you mean? This uh, is the guy off the yeah, Gruen he's, thing. He's done Change My Brain, that TV series, I which I that. enjoyed, and it proves that you can f- f- train your brain. 
Yeah, but isn't it that if you did a cryptic crossword every day, like my grandmother did every yeah. day of your life, she was in a, a, a on a on a ship in a, during the war, and she only had one book, and it was a book of crosswords and she and cryptics, and she did them all in pencil, rubbed them out, did them all again in pencil, did rubbed That's them cheating. out, did them all again in pencil, rubbed them all out, mm. blah, 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 like, and then she would get a new one and she'd do the same thing, and I would watch her do a cryptic crossword in her seventies and eighties and stuff, and she'd do it the way that you'd write a shopping list, like down. Across, done, done, like really fast. Mm. Her brain just isn't the point about elasticity or whatever yeah. it is that um, you need to keep, keep mix it up. Like if you do that same thing every day, that's what I'm gonna do. Different things. So once you nail cryptics, you're gonna stop doing cryptics no, and you're gonna like learn how to tie knots. Of flexibility. Yeah, everything. I'm gonna be just have lots of stuff to do. And it's not okay. It's not gonna hurt well, your brain. It may hurt my brain, Lauren, but it can't hurt any more than what I'm doing now. Look, it is a summer oh, cast. Yes. And we've got to get out of here. I know, we it's do. been a bit of a, a, an odd uh, program this morning, a bit of a argy bargy. Let's hope that when I drive in tomorrow or ride in to finish my walking, who knows? I've got to trick my brain. Yeah, you so do. So I don't get lazy. Let's Unicycle. Hope we get along a bit better. Try something else. Unicycle. Oh, I want to be able to walk. Rollerblade. Hey. I want to see you roll away. Roll away. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Anyway, until tomorrow, dear Lauren, have we got any bins? We do have some bins. Yeah, it's bin night in West Melbourne and a reservoir, sections of reservoir slash war. Uh, and this evening, put your bins out, everybody. Get them out, baby. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye-bye.